Hi, how's everyone doing? It's the Bowl Side Boy here, and today I'm back again. I know it's been a long time, but I'm doing a match review of our 3 2 away victory to Swindon Town. I've taken another break, but I'm back. I had a couple of mocks I had to do for uh, in practice for GCSEs, and so I need to be revising. But I'm now going to be back on my videos until probably about May time, until I have to take another break. Thankfully, the football season ends. And but I'm back, and what a win away to Swindon! Uh, I went as always, and it was a really good performance from us. And I think it it shows how far we've come under John McGrew as manager, because that. That game was a sort of game where we would have uh, collapsed when we went uh, one nil down or two to all, and it shows the character we've got in that team, the determination to win. And I think we have a lot of good players who are working for the team now, not just players a couple of years back who are just working for themselves. I think we have a really strong team now. Who you know they might not be the highest quality players, but they're all gelling together and playing as uh, a whole team, which I think is something we've needed for a long time. And I think we've finally seen it, and it's paying off with lots of good results and. As you can see in our league, in our recent league performances, and where we sit in the league table, we've made a lot of improvement from a well, let's say a month ago. But the match was a pretty poor standard. In truth, there weren't really uh, much creativity, and there wasn't really a lot of chances on show. Uh, the chance that did appear, both teams scored from. Uh, very scrappy to score to let in the first one. Uh, you know. We seem to always have a problem with set pieces, and that showed today, and I think it showed for Swindon as well. Uh, scrappy goals all around, and their first one uh, really showed that. We just, we all, everyone got attracted to the ball and left a free man in the box to put it away. Uh, luckily, just before half time, which I think it was a crucial moment in that game, Frank Kent equalised for us. I think if we went in at 1 0 down, it would have been a completely different game, but going in at 1 1. It really puts us in a good position and gives us all the momentum. And I think, you know, Frank Kent's really improved in recent weeks. You know, he's had to step up a lot and uh, he's really starting to show himself. And especially when he had to play with uh, four at the back there, of course, the presence of Ryan Innes is uh, a gloss. But um, thankfully, we managed to deal with that. I know we let in two, but we, it didn't look too shaky with uh, the Kent and Eastman partnership. And I think them two really did well on Friday night. And uh, yeah, we come for the second half, and of course, we take the lead. Mikel Mandrel with his first goal in eight games. Uh, well deserved, great header, and uh, hopefully, it gives him the confidence to get more in this busy Christmas period. And, and then, yet again, from a set piece, we can see this time just failure to clear and then uh, pressure to deal with the shot. Uh, just I think yeah, everyone is a bit asleep, and we were all still stuck in the box marking our men while that guy could fire it in for 2 2, and then. The bounce back ability was there. Sammy Small looks two minutes later getting the goal. Uh, clinical finish for his 10th of the season, and uh, he's really starting to be a star player for this team with his uh, 10 goals he's already got, which is uh, more than he has in the last, what is it, 70 appearances. So he's really starting to show his value. So, I mean, hopefully, we don't lose him in January. But we're looking good going into this Christmas period. We haven't got, we, we've probably got an easier run of games compared to most teams Port Vale, Crawley, Chesterfield. And Cambridge, and I think they're we could win them all, but of course, it's the Christmas period, anything can happen. But we're going in with a uh, good confidence, and I think we've got a really strong team. Most of our players come back from injury, it's always good to have them back. Now, I can't wait for Orion to be back. So, things are looking good, we're on the up, and you know, top the playoffs are looking very possible, and maybe even top three with a uh, team starting to. Uh, make a big push now as we head into the Christmas period where you can pick up a lot of points of course but if you did enjoy the video today please leave a like please subscribe and I'll be back with another video very soon bye